Today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we check out the brand new SA3A compressor from Stam Audio. The Yuri LA3A compressor was first introduced at the CES show in 1969 and has been in steady studio use ever since. But pricey vintage units are kind of finicky and command extreme prices on the used market. And enter Stam Audio. Stam Audio has been on a recent roll creating incredible replicas that are affordable to the common man that sound absolutely incredible and more often than not are indiscernible from their vintage counterparts. So I thought we would test that today with this Loner SA3A that I have on loan from Stam Audio. I recently went up to my friends at Fastback Studios in Seattle, Washington, where they have a very, very choice pair of original LA3A from the early 70s uh, when Universal Audio was still called Yuri. And we chose the best out of the two. And yeah, it's a pretty interesting comparison. We are going to A, B a couple of different raw direct tracks that I recorded myself. There is a raw vocal from when I did the Stam Audio uh, 1073 MPA comparison and demo video from uh, Rust Repose singer Tanner. There's an acoustic guitar track, there is a bass DI from my Ernie Ball guitar, and there is also uh, a clean jangly uh, electric guitar, a Fender Telecaster, that we also put through the compressors. Now, we calibrated each compressor the same using a minus 18 dB uh, signal put through the compressors. Now, what was interesting is calibrating the same amount of output from each unit since on the back of the SA3A there is no pad and then there is a minus 15 dB pad whereas the actual vintage units have a minus 30 dB pad and a minus 50 dB pad or at least the units that Fastback had. So it was kind of interesting getting them equal but we bypassed everything and used just the circuit to initially get a level of minus 18 dB and then we did some other things to ensure that we matched these as perfectly as possible when it comes to the output volume. So hopefully the differences that you do notice are just because they are just that, they're differences and not due to volume or some other force interacting on the compressor. So let's get started. I think let's go ahead and start with Tanner's vocal, shall we? There's flowers, I found you, the truest red that I'd ever seen, till you caught yourself on the thorns. You winced and I kissed you, I kissed your palms, and we both laughed, so unaware of the gathering storm. It's gonna rain, it's gonna rain till the levee breaks. A tidal wave of fear and pain carry us away. Another fight into the night until nothing else remains. How do we find? Harbor from the hurricane. Next up, let's do the jangly guitar. This is recorded on the neck position of my Fender Mexican Tele with some uh, Fishman Grey Cock uh, pickups uh, into the clean channel of my Rev Generator 100. Enjoy.
Next, let's do a clean DI. This is the direct DI signal from my Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray HH bass on the bridge humbucker with everything full up and directly out of the bass running into the compressors. And lastly, how about some acoustic guitar? The acoustic guitar was recorded with a uh, Rode NTG2 condenser microphone uh, pointed kind of in between the sound hole and the 12th fret. Enjoy. So now that you guys have heard the sound samples, my experience in the studio with our sound engineer, Jason Lackey, was that of stunned. <laughs> I think that's the best word I can describe. We were really at a loss of words with how incredibly accurate the stam was. And I don't think any of us were expecting really, really, really close. I think all of us in the room were kind of expecting really close ballpark, something like that, just because maybe unfairly, we judged the stam by the price point, which is $899 versus the vintage unit, which go for $3,000 and up, sometimes $6,000 or $6,500 for a pair, which we had there at the studio. Now there's always other clones of clones of clones, but the stamp seemed to really replicate the feel and just, oh man, it just nails it. The vintage unit was slightly brighter, we found in the studio while we were running the tracks, but otherwise, I mean, <laughs> this is amazing. You have been wonderful, I have been fluffed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.